What's up everyone, Trent here. Along with Julia. Welcome back to the channel and we're back with episode 4 of X-Men 97, Motendo and Life Death Part 1. Ooh. Looks like we're getting some Mojo World shenanigans involving Mojo and uh, hopefully we get to see Longshot in there. But the flip side of the episode is what I'm most excited for and that is Storm and Forge's relationship moving mm. forward with yeah. Aurora dealing with the loss of her powers. Really great story arc from the comics that goes from basically X Uncanny X-Men 185 to Uncanny 227. Um, life, death, and the fall of the mutants arc. It'll be interesting to see their relationship build and any revelations that come out of it. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. Let's go. Hey, there's long shot. Hey, oh, Polaris. Polaris. X Factor. Emma. Oh. Hello, Miss Frost. I just love how this is ever changing and how fluid it is, and also mm. giving some little hints of what's gonna what's going to happen happen yeah. in the episode. Yeah, take some cream with it. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Remy. You're sweet, but our new boss beat you to the pub. <laughs> it's three sugars. Show off. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an orders. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I am giving them. <laughs> Power play. We must be ready should Mister Sinister resurface. Surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. I second the blue <laughs> Rogaine ad. Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Yeah. Oh. Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. <laughs> <laughs> Sass. When I was a child. Oh. oh. He's got two thumbs that blast fireworks and turns 18 today? <laughs> Me. How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? We are all Aww. Aww. proud dad, Wolvie. Yeah. I know, but let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like <laughs> old times. What do we think? <laughs> <laughs> we need to prepare, not for fun. What's wrong with just one day where I don't have to freak out about the professor or Jean yeah. and her clone yep. or Cyclops and his latest control issue? <laughs> they aren't even here because they just had to go play mutant politics at the United Nations. <laughs> Genosha entering the UN is a big a deal. A big deal. Hmm. Small fries. I'm the birthday Big Mac. <laughs> uh, this might be make or break. The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. <laughs> but actually, this Long shot doll. Never even heard of a Motendo. <laughs> Let's play. I'd rather me and Wayne find out I'm a mutant than be caught dead playing that. <laughs> Come on, Jubilee. Time? You shouldn't fall for this. Ooh. Oh, damn. A real integration. Yeah. <laughs> the dial-up tone. <gasps> oh. If I never hear that again, I'll be happy. <laughs> How long will we play? I assume I won. <laughs> Wait. Uh-oh. That's my recurring nightmare. From episode one is a sentinel looking in the room with his red eyes and reaching in and pulling me out of bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did we get downtown so fast? Oh boy. Is my hair okay? Yes. Yeah. Time to outrun sentinels. You know, no, I can video game music behind. It's easier if you just used your powers. What if there's cameras around? My parents could see me on TV. I do like that there's an ongoing reason why he's afraid to use them. Mm. Wait a second. It could be a trap. A phone booth trap? That'd be creative. Hello? I do like a little glitching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Genosha? But, like, way back when, Genosha? I was trapped here with Storm. Poor path. Gambit, too, and a bunch of other mutants, all enslaved to hey. fields like Bolivar Trap. Blood and Sunfire. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't do that. Maybe it was her. Hello. Was that you, Hot Topic Stalker? <laughs> It's like Redeemer from Spawn. L. Like a cyberpunk mirage. We are totally in a video game. Yeah. We're what? Pay attention to the young lady. <laughs> You're like totally in a video game. Totally. But totally. Just what I was hoping for. Classic Jubilee. Whoa. 
Mojo looks thin. Yeah. Mojo here. Your prime time psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. Well, if he's thin, the ratings mustn't be very good. Yeah. Dieting? You noticed? Got some nip, some tuck. Actually, it's been a horrible third quarter and it shows. Let's be yeah. real. Ratings are down, 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 and up. Uh, mm. <laughs> To video games, the future of mind numbery. They're in. What's a lot of weight? Yeah. You're the star. <laughs> numero uno. Every level is based off your own memories. Me? Please. Dazzler had a gig. Don't ask. So you're Yay, my gamer girl in a gamer world. You connect with the youth. A Motendo, that's Mo for Mojo, in every home. In every dimension. <laughs> Zapping up nom 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 energy from the brains of all who play. I'll dominate the galaxy's mental enemy. manipulation yeah. and control. I'm age demographic. None of this is even real. Well, I don't want to say something scary like if you die in the game, you, <laughs> you die, die in real life. life. But uh, stakes. This is the dream jubilee. Be young forever. Replay the golden hits. No growing up. The old X Men are totally old school. Who's the boss? Magneto. <laughs> Store different worlds. Divorce court. So <laughs> not X-Men. You're my X-Men, Jubilee, so game on. The ego stroking but manipulation of mm. it. Beautifully done. The rise, rise of, of Jubilee. Jubilee. Hey, magic and long shot. It's loaded. <laughs> Roberto. Nice. Oh, cool. Hey, Pietro and Wanda. Days of Future Past poster. <laughs> I love the reworking of the theme. Nice. Oh, it's the X-Men arcade game, basically. There we, there we go. go. Sustenance. Ooh. Ooh. Sauron's got to be in here. Kazar, maybe. Yes. Sauron. Oh. Who are you? He's far. So someone's obviously fighting. How did you get my health back? That wasn't me. <laughs> He's at it again. Catch that box! Another revolutionary. You get when you kill Tex the board. My favorite level. <laughs> my favorite. Asteroid M. <laughs> it's a cane. It's a cane. <laughs> Magneto's old base from his megalomaniacal phase. I acted like I hated mutants. Yeah, mine tried saying they were good ones, but I could tell she was spooked. So I said they're all freaks, and normal people would win. Man, mm. talk about simpler times. Now Helmet Head's bossing us around and telling me how to spend my birthday. Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality would smack you. Right so I do like. Oh. <laughs> I do like the the meaning behind it all. Mm. No! Oh no! That was a big hit by Max. <laughs> it's gonna be tough for Jubilee to beat. Okay, he's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. Hmm. I just need to wait for it to just cycle. figure it out. At least it's only the arcade, not Dark Souls or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Total, Total victory. victory. Ooh. No, no, no. This can't be That's cool. Happening. Cool effect. Mm. Is that an extra life? <laughs> extra. <laughs> I love Spiral. Did I die? Close. Was I dead? Close. Close. Oh, goodness. I thought I lost you. Pô, tô ferrado. Esse lugar é muito perigoso. Vou vazar daqui. I don't speak justifiably angry Portuguese. <laughs> I know. I messed up big time. The hand of fate. <laughs> Who is it? I'm 
With the Dazzler comment before, I'm thinking, is it Dazzler? There's, su there's some. She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. This is Costa. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, way, oh. back, way back. <laughs> cool. But how? I'm gonna hit pause here for a second. I got a few questions. <laughs> Explain everything. You gotta test a game before launch. Mojo needed beta testers. Ah. Uh, Did you okay. work because of me? I'm the only one left. I've played these levels inside and out. Relived the glory and days more them all. than I care to count, but note the uh, hair and wrinkles. Before Mojo killed the beta, I, like I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before deletion. Nice. Figures my game has cheat codes. There so that's, that's very jubilee. <laughs> it's nice knowing how every stage ends. No surprises, no twists. It always stays the same. But that's not living. You gotta break free. Living doesn't get cheat codes or extra lives, but it has friends and family, love, things of hope. Life's a total risk, and it's on you. Take it. Was not expe was not expecting a strong message from this. Yeah, from this arc. No. <laughs> Damn. I'll be the final boss. <laughs> nice. They are the harder they pop. The harder they pop. I feel like Roberto's got to use his powers in like a really epic moment. Mm. Yes, you wait. Ooh. Ooh. Life discs. Nice. Nice. Hold up, cowboy. It ain't over till the Little glimpses. Yeah. Nasty glitches. Nope, you're gonna go nice. bang. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Jubilee. Let it rest. And you're fried, Mojo. I like the shimmering in the eyes. Aww. Yeah. Aww. It's like fireworks. <laughs> now under life death. This will tonally be very different. Yeah. My papa's bison chili. It's a leaner cut. It gives room for the spices to do their magic. Chili. A friend of Charles Xavier is a friend of mine. I owe that fellow a great deal. As do we all. Love the way he How looks does at it her. Work? Mm. A mutant who can invent anything he can conceive. I can get at parts of the brain that are normally dormant in humans. See how bits fit? Like a Rubik's Cube on constant autopilot. Or simply a genius. Well, <laughs> life and love. God help me. But if you're needing a meat toaster or a thing that'll store your mutant powers. <laughs> or a bowl of this delicious chili. <laughs> yep, we're chili. And I'm your man. May I ask? I was a soldier. There was a war. I miss soaring. The wind in my hair, so powerful it's hard to breathe, but so fresh as to be worth it. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. What a blessing. It wasn't anything to fix. Just adapted and got a little creative. I do like the flexibility of there was a war. Mm. It can allude to any time frame, as opposed to in the comics where it's the Vietnam War. Mm. Looks like you got creative. Keep up. I'm not building you a faster horse. <laughs> <laughs> what a rude little man. <laughs> <laughs> He's, it's a matter of perspective as well. You got creative to feel the breeze. Lives. Beautiful, isn't it? That owl, mm. I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. Or an omen. 
The winds here never shift. They always blow east, stuck like this owl. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. It's so interesting in how she's still able to read and interpret and mm. how it has the the symbolism for what she's feeling. Yeah. Inverted version of its radiation. Hey, X Factor. That could safely channel such power. Ah, you've been Sexy listening. Forge. Mm. Last power differential clicked in my head when we were out riding. Like I said, it helps to get outside. <laughs> you ready? Okay, Aurora. Give it a try. Winds? Heed my command. Oh. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise, winds, and move the desert sands. Oh. Oh. Please, winds, hear me. Please. This isn't happening, Forge. It can't be real. I know, Aurora. I know. That owl's been too present for it to not mean something. Hmm. Like the very first scene of the episode. Oh dear. Why is fixing me so important to you? Guilt. Storm. Mm. After the war, I didn't have the resources to build what I so easily saw in my mind. The Defense Department offered to help me. As long as I help them build some devices. Oh, no. Yep. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. No. Yep. No, no, no. I was wondering if he was going to have some these? role in the inhibitor collar. Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. I left the government by then. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington. That's not fair. I was hurting, lost. I gave up. If I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. So you lied, my weaver of lies. It hasn't all been <sighs> lies. This is not a lie. It taints it all. No. Don't you dare. I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. A perfect path to your redemption. <laughs> you are a goddess. She is. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? Look, I'll say it once, just once. Then you can go or you can stay, but I love you. You meant to make me a goddess. Instead, you have fashioned a fool. Ooh. It's such a good arc for Storm. I was just coming upstairs after you. She what? an illusion or a dream? How did I return here? The owl. The owl. Get out of my home, you damn demon! Oh. 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 It's corrupt. Is this death? This is the Shadow King. You live disappointed. All the others are trapped here, haunted, suffering. I feast on misery, and I, the adversary, <laughs> shall not waste my meal. The trickster god. Damn. Ending on the adversary reveal. All right, going through the. It is going through the um the arc of the fall of the mutants, where they, where they basically have to. Defeat the adversary. The their storm and forge are trapped in a world, in an earth that's not their main earth, and they're separate. Mm. So it looks like that's something similar where the owl, or the adversary, has trapped them within this the mm. confines of the area that they're in now, or whether there's some sort of other um, manipulation going on. Mm. Interesting, interesting, really good. Dynamic between Storm and Forge. You yeah. you hear the love that Forge has for Aurora. The the words are so powerful and strong, but there's always that 
feel and one with the revelation of the inhibitor collars and that he does and had the initial designs for them mm. there's that feeling of guilt yeah and the as Aurora pointed out you you are doing this to fix yourself fix yourself not to yeah to to yeah. Rede- as your path to redemption i am the goddess on your path to redemption mm. you're trying to build a goddess it it kind of underlies everything that he said regardless of whether he genuinely means them or not which mm. He does, as you said. It's the the love is is tainted knowing the colors. Yes, but just that particular part. We'll get to Motendo in a sec, but that particular story, very short, but very everything was deliberate to the point that from the introduction of the owl in the very mm. first scene to um, to Aurora describing how it feels to have to feel the winds, but also not having the connection to them. Mm-hmm. But them being on the but, on the cliff and it describing how they operate and the symbology of the the winds but, always blowing east here but, and but then also being on the money of winds constantly change things happen everything is just going east here so yeah. then reflecting back going are they trapped well that makes when when how long when kind of similar to the when did Madeline Pryor become yeah. Jean when, did they, when get, did they get trapped yeah. is it the bar or is it as soon as she left is it just that but it, yeah it pulls into of- it pulls into that everything's the same the, mm. that owl is always blowing east yeah um and you know forge of the until it changes mm. you know the weather can change the mother nature the environment can change yeah um I, I like that we got little glimpses of x factor in there and alluding to his time with the government as well mm. Um, his time in the war and how he was in a dark place, and it's it it adds other layers to what he's saying to Aurora as well because it's things that he's gone through except mm. without the loss of his powers. Obviously, with the loss of the the war, the loss that war brings, be the loss of his leg, his hand, he, other troops in his battalion, like mm. all those crushing things. He was at his lowest point. He's trying to help Storm. Yes. He has gone about it in a in a unfortunately unintendedly deceptive way. Yeah, he didn't mean to cause harm. He was generally trying, but it just the different la- layers to the dialogue. You can find different meanings and interpretations mm. in everything that's being said. Definitely, and especially when Storm's delivering lines, she's describing external sensations of things she feels internally. Mm. You know, being unable to unable to feel the weather and what that means to her, yeah, um, and riding out into the into the storm, yeah, reflective of her rage and anger. It's just little things like that. If you haven't read Life Death Part One or Two, Chris Claremont and Brian Windsor Smith, fantastic. The art is phenomenal. The story is poignant. A lot of similarities to what was just shown in there. So I strongly recommend it. Issue one eighty six of Uncanny and. <laughs> 196 of Uncanny. Yeah, 186 and 198 of Uncanny. Um, yeah, strongly recommend it. It is a great read, beautiful art, and there are a lot of poignant moments. Mm. Um, going to be interesting to see when this gets picked up again, whether it's going to be in the next episode yeah, whether or whether it's, it's just going to be in, or whether it's in like Life, Death, more. Part 2. Um, but, yeah, and and the, the hopelessness of Storm when it was a very quick, quick, We'll get your powers back. Mm. Being outside, was this the machinations of the adversary that put a block on the powers coming mm. back? Because there is a there is a way that it does happen in the comics where it's yeah. Um, Don't spoil it. I'm not. No, I, I won't. <laughs> but yeah, it, is that is that the adversary blocking the powers or was mm. it a, a genuine failure yeah. be, mm. because and this the power when she delivered that second line with the echo and yeah. the goddess that she is um very yeah really really good stuff and and very sh- very short but very to the point yeah on the motendo side on the motendo side fun that was really fun nice I liked, contrast i liked the 16-bit kind of level yeah, aspects nice ha- the reflection from seeing it from jubilee's point of view and being normal with just a 16-bit background to the people watching and having that yeah. old school like video game that, yeah that was cool. I-, I did love the change of perspectives from internal to external yeah and just just seeing i, I love when they do those sorts of animations in contemporary settings because yeah. it always looks so good 
And, you know, bringing life to the whole thing with the music as well. Yeah. The, the dull tone was not recommended. No. That get just, rid of that. No, get rid of the dial-up no. modem sound. Sound. No. It, uh, I never want to hear that again. No. That brings back oh, very bad memories. Very, very bad memories. <laughs> very bad memories. Mum, get off the phone. I'm trying to use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Who picked up the phone? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. But that is the perfect way to trigger 90s, uh, yep. 80s and 90s 80s kids. 80s and 90s kids. <laughs> Yeah, but also perfect for this for this Absolutely generation. Perfect. Video games yep. were the next big thing, and the big thing at that point, like ninety yep. seven, was we were in the we we're in the time of the N sixty four and PlayStation. Yep. Um, and great way to pay homage to the uh, arcade games, and mm. particularly the X Men arcade. But I really liked that it was focusing on just Jubilee and Roberto, not yeah. not any of the other X Men. It gave a good explanation as to why they weren't there. Yep. Um, with Scott and Jean dealing with the UN, so we still have that thread to deal with later. Mm -hmm. And the others, you know, preparing for a birthday and Magneto not wanting to, yeah. you know, but the bosh man Magneto. The, the subtle lines that everyone used was very poignant for moving the story along and character arcing for them. Yes. The, oh, no, Rogue takes three sugars. Well, <laughs> if you're taking orders, I'll take yeah. a cappuccino. Yeah. <laughs> like, absolutely the brilliant. The, the power, the power plays, plays and the plays dynamics. That are done so... Just by glances or just by little yeah. sentences that still portray so much to character relationships and what is potentially happening or going to happen. Yes. And I'm really, really liking Jubilee and Roberto. Yeah. A, a lot. I think it's I think it's a really good way to get Jubilee showing character growth and maturity from where we saw her in the first five seasons. She's now... She's 18. She's 18. So she's now had that growth and bringing in someone who's... Kind of, very, kind of the opposite to her, yeah. you know. Video games could be make or break, yeah. But has that connection and has the family side as well, where mm. he doesn't want to be outed as a mutant to his parents. He's worried about what they will think, yeah. And just that little subtle dialogue of um, when Magneto did have asteroid M of what his mum was thinking as yeah. well. But the theme, two very strong themes throughout the episode with. Mm. Um, with Storm and Forge, with obviously the the theme of love and deceit and grief, deceit, yeah. And you got the theme of love here, but also maturing and yeah. growing, and it not being the end of the world, but actually a starting and a development. I liked that it was that you don't have to give up video games. Yeah, but it's... it is you need to change and move forward. Yeah, you, you need can't... to move forward, but you don't. Like be you can't stagnant. be stagnant. You can't yeah. keep on living in the past because the future has so much to offer if you allow it. Which is such an interesting thing when we're looking at a nostalgia hit in X Men ninety seven. <sighs> yep. You can't keep looking at the past, but damn, the but past damn, is a hell of a lot damn, of fun. I'm gonna drop a lot of money on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we've we've got the entire <laughs> yeah. X Men Legends line we've that has been released so far. Yeah. Yes. Um, but no, it's 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 such a fun series. I liked the contrast of these two these two um, stories together mm. because it allowed life death to be short and sweet and not be too for 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 an episode in a series like this mm. if it was a lot longer and the full the full 30 minutes I could see people being disengaged yeah. because it is a very slow moving story it is it is very interpersonal it's mm. it's very very personal and it's great but having that fun, action-packed start is a good way to not have audiences disengage with it. Yeah. It's, the fans will love it, but for casual audiences that may just be watching this, it allows for a, a more natural progression yes, into it without definitely. losing, um, you know, without saying, oh, that was a slow episode. Yeah. We, no yeah, action. Without the, we got action yes. and then we got. A lot a of fun. Very, very deep story arc, which yeah. I can definitely see people. If it was just a full episode, going, "Oh, n nothing happened." When it's like, "No, so much happened," but it just wasn't and it was Magneto a and Mojo World or whatever yeah. it was. And it was a great reintroduction of Forge, who only appeared in a, a one episode fully, and then there was a cameo again mm. in the first season, uh, first series. Um, it paid homage to his time in X Factor. It introduced us to, you know. He's the maker, He mm. what his mutant powers are. He's able to conceive anything and how he came to have the the um, the bionics. His, his bionic arm and uh, mm. hand and leg. Yeah. Really good introduction and a good way to connect 
with Aurora mm. as well. But yeah, very excited to see where they go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't wait. Still Can't six wait. episodes to go. Still so much to go. Yay. 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 And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see ne- ne- who, who uh, next episode focuses on. It yeah. may not be a team thing. It may just be the next few episodes, little relationships Going and dynamics. Into, yeah, diving into maybe a lot. like Rogue and Rogue, Gambit. Gambit and Or Magneto. even if it's just going into the summers and the UN yes. aspect. Yeah, because I think. Next episode, I think, is possibly Bright Eyes, which would probably be Cyclops. But it could also be old Bright Eyes in, in Remy. In Remy. In Remy. But tell us your thoughts on episode four in the comments. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. As always, keep, keep it, it nerdy. nerdy.